G'day avocado enthusiasts and welcome to this video. I have to admit that this avocado tree was a little bit forgotten. It uh, was at the back of kind of a bunch of other avocado trees and plants in my garden and I didn't realise that it had grown in quite this lean, I would have corrected it, but I noticed some really interesting kind of growth coming out from this tree. Just look at what it's doing here. What is going on? Well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about gravitropism. It's also sometimes called geotropism. When you hear tropism, it means movement. Plants move and they're responsive to their environments. Most plants will grow towards light, and this is called phototropism. Most will grow towards water, especially their roots. This is called hydrotropism. But they also move with gravity, and this is called gravitropism. Plants can actually sense gravitational pull. We'll talk about how they detect it in a moment, but first, plants usually have two kinds of gravitropism at play. There's positive gravitropism, where they will grow towards the pull of gravity. This is seen in their root systems, and they will grow down. Then there's negative gravitropism, which, you guessed it, is when plants grow away from the pull of gravity. This is seen in the stems. Trailing plants show this as well, even though their stems trail downwards, their leaves still point up. Anyway, if something happens to a plant, like it's knocked over, it will sense that something has changed and continue to grow according to gravity. Scientists have done experiments about this as well in microgravity environments, where the Earth's gravitational pull can't really be detected in space. And what tends to happen is that when compared to what goes on on Earth, where the roots go down and the shoots go up, the shoots will go all weird, sideways and diagonally, and occasionally roots will try to grow upwards away from the soil like the shoots. That's what's happening with this tree. It's sensing Earth's gravitational pull, and instead of growing sideways, it's growing up. But how does it sense Earth's gravitational pull? Well, it's all to do with oxen. Oxen is the hormone in plants that regulates growth. It's responsive to light and water and will make the plant grow towards these things, but it's also responsive to gravity. And depending on the particular part of the plant, the response to the oxen will be different. Oxen moves according to gravity, so it will flow to lower parts of the plant. I'm going to simplify it here, but in the roots, it causes the cells at the bottom part of the root to be shorter, causing the top ones to elongate, making it move down. The opposite is true for the stems. The lower part of the plant stem, where the oxen gathers, is where the cells are elongated, pushing the growth upwards. It's also caused this tree to create a bunch of new branches. Many plants growth, avocados included, is apically dominant. That means that the tip of the stem or branch is going to be the preference for growing. An apex is growing more than the other parts. The part that makes the stem longer is what we call the primary meristem. When the tree has fallen over, the oxen was no longer telling the plant that what was previously the top is the top of the plant anymore. So it created more primary meristems or new growth areas. That's why we have all these new shoots. The plant wants to grow upwards. So the plant looks this way because of gravitropism. The plant is sensing Earth's gravitational pull due to the movement of the hormone oxen in the stem, causing it to push out new growth points, making it grow towards the sky. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know in the comments below and with the like button. And if you'd like to see more avocado content, I encourage you to subscribe to Scott Grows and Avocado Tree, where I make all kinds of videos about avocados and other plant things. I'm also on Instagram at Scott Grows and Avocado Tree. And if you want to support me financially, you can become one of my Patreon members, where you get access to exclusive Patreon-only content, such as Scott grows a kiwi vine and you also get a chance to be the sponsor of the week for the time lapse that I am taking this year. I'm publishing in short form content in various places so please go and check that out if you would like to. A huge shout out to all of my Patreon members and a special shout out to the new member joining us this month that's Sarah Sheffy and also I owe Natalie Kender an apology because I badly mispronounced her name last time. I'm sorry Natalie. Thank you again for your support. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott.
grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.